How many uses can you get from a hitch cargo carrier? You might be surprised by the answer, so stay tuned. Hello campers, this is the Suburban Camper, and in this video I will review the Viking Stack Rack 2 hitch cargo carrier and demonstrate its many uses. Why do I use a hitch cargo carrier? The main reason is it frees up space inside the vehicle to accommodate configurations that allow the bed to always be set up, which is my preferred configuration when I am solo camping. The other reason is it enables me to haul the gear I need to camp anywhere and be prepared for anything. For example, when I am camping in a beautiful place like this and it is hot and I want to camp right on the river but there are no shade trees, I need a canopy. My canopy requires two storage bins plus space in the rooftop cargo carrier for the poles, so the extra space a hitch cargo carrier provides is needed to make this happen. I have been using the Viking Stack Rack 2 hitch cargo carrier for over a year. The specs say you can carry up to 300 pounds in it, but I would say 100 to 200 pounds is more reasonable. It utilizes the standard 2 inch receiver to install on the hitch and is secured with a 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and I recommend using a locking hitch pin to keep it secure. It weighs 39 pounds so one person can install it but it is a bit of a challenge so one trick I use is to place a 17 gallon bin in front of the hitch and then set the cargo carrier on top of it. This holds it at a height where you can easily line it up and slide it in. There are two baskets. The larger one on top is 32 inches long by 17 inches wide and 8 inches high, and the smaller one on the bottom is 29 inches long and 14 and 3 quarter inches wide and 7 and 3 quarter inches high. Please note, when I looked at a current model online, it appears the baskets are both the larger size, so be sure to check the size to assure it meets your needs. There are five positions for the baskets. I have the top basket in the highest position and the bottom basket in the lowest position. The bottom basket height can create an issue for creek and ravine crossings, so I'm considering raising it up one position. Keep in mind, the baskets fold up, so one option would be to remove the item in the bottom basket and raise it for the crossing, but note the main support will still be a factor for clearance. One of the best features of the Viking Stack Rack 2 is its ability to fold down so you can open the rear hatch. You can fold it down when it is full or empty, but I recommend having someone help you when it is full, especially to get it back up into position. When it is folded up, you can still open the rear hatch window and access gear in the back of the vehicle. My baskets have strap hook holders on each side, although in looking at the latest version online, I'm not sure this is still a feature. I use these holders to secure bungee straps and when I use hexagonal chains to secure items, I use them to secure the lock and chain to the cargo carrier. Now let's dive into all the ways you can use this hitch cargo carrier. I will start with the obvious one, which is carrying storage bins and coolers. I've not used it to haul a cooler, but the specs state it can carry up to a 70 quart cooler. My primary use is hauling storage bins. I utilize 17 gallon bins for all my camping gear and that size fits easily in the top basket and fits snugly in the bottom basket. It's a mobile fueling station. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying it can haul a gas can on top of a bin and a propane tank. A 30 gallon propane tank nests perfectly on the bottom crossbars of the top basket and the depth enables it to be fully contained and protected. It's an instant kitchen. Just put your stove on top, a couple oak planks on the bottom, stabilize and level it with cargo bars, and now it's a camp kitchen. And the liftgate provides some shelter for your kitchen. It's a stand and shelter for the generator. The crossbars and the bottom bin holder are the perfect width to hold the generator and keep it up off the ground. To keep it secure, I run a hexagonal chain through the handle and padlock the chain to each side of the upper bin holder. This setup is very difficult to move, but I also keep the hitch lock on the hitch cargo carrier rather than on the hitch, so if someone was able to move it, they would not be able to just hook it up and haul it away. Regarding a shelter, all you need to do is throw a tarp over the top and secure it with bungee straps and your generator will be high and dry. Please note, you should not use a generator in a wet environment. It's a solar charging station. 
I have a 20 watt solar panel mounted on a bin lid and I place it on the top bin and then run the charging cord through the rear window. It is flat enough the window still closes properly. Then I connect it to my deep cycle battery to charge it while I am traveling. And finally it's a security device. If you replace the hitch pin in the pivot point with a locking hitch pin, you can't lower the cargo carrier to open the rear hatch, which makes it harder to empty everything out in the event of a break-in. Yes, the doors are still an access point, but that is the subject of another video. So, that makes six uses for one very affordable piece of gear, and that is pretty good. I highly recommend the Viking Stack Rack 2, which means I use it and it is an essential item. I will place a link for the hitch cargo carrier in the description. You can view all the gear I utilize to haul the camping supplies needed to camp anywhere and be prepared for anything at SuburbanCamping.com. Please note, I utilize the Amazon affiliate program to support this YouTube channel and my website which means I may earn a commission at no extra cost to you if the affiliate links are utilized to make a purchase. And as always, if you learned something from this video, please subscribe. Thank you very much.